think I've done this already, but I'm going to go through the binomial theorem. And you may have learned this in high school, but yeah. So here's the binomial theorem. If x and y are variables and n is a positive integer, then we have this equation x plus y to the power of n, and then you can expand it out to this equation, and at the end of the day, you'll get something like this. So this is an equation which we can use to get the coefficient of x and y. And when we have like x plus y to the power of 100, this can be really useful because say we want the coefficient of uh, x to the power of 52 and y to the power of uh, 48. In that case, you don't want to expand the whole thing. You want to find the coefficient right away if, if your teacher wants the coefficient. So that's what we're going to go through. So pretty much the coefficient of x to the power of k, y to the power of n minus k, where 0 is less than or equal to k, less than or equal to n, is the number of different ways in which we can select kx's and n minus ky's from the n available factors. And n choose k is called the bin binomial coefficient. This can also be expressed as this equation. Now, I know that what I have said probably just went right through your head. So I'm just going to try to make it more simple. So remember back in high school, we used to have something like this. x plus, uh, let's say x plus y to the power of 3. Now, if you want to get a certain coefficient of a certain uh, x to the power of something and y to the power of something, then we'd probably have to expand it out like so. x plus y, x plus y, and then we'll take like, and then we'll do FOIL, and then we'll expand this. So, timesing them all together, we'll get something like x to, to, x to the power of 2 plus 2 times xy plus y squared. But then again, we have another x plus y, so then that leaves some more work for us to do. So we'll have to times it by x and y again and expand it, which will come up with x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y3. Now, let's imagine that I told you to, uh, well, let's imagine that I made the I made the uh, I made this to the power of a hundred. Then you'll have to expand this a hundred times, and that is a really a lot of work. And if I told you that I want the coefficient of say like uh, x to the power of ninety seven, y to the power of three, then that's a lot of expanding you have to do. That's where the binomial coefficient comes in. This is where the binomial theorem uh, does its job. It helps you get the coefficient. Like the, and this is the coefficient, right? This is what we call the binomial coefficient. Using that formula, we can get this number any time without really expanding the entire uh, equation that really takes a lot of work and which you don't want to do. So let's just go through an example of how we actually do this. And uh, let's say find the coefficient of x to the power of 5, y to the power of 2 in the expansion of x plus y7. So this is really simple. It's pretty much using this formula all over again. So, so x plus y to the power of 7. Well, 7 is actually our n. 7 is actually our n. And our k, we could say our k is 5. Because what we're doing is we're following this equation, right? Um, n is 7 and k is equal to this, so k is 5. So I guess it's better to actually write it down so you guys can actually see it properly. I hate it when my math goes beach balling. So the equation was e sigma and it's n k x k y and minus k. So this, this is equal to that, and n is equal to 7. So what we're going to do is, we, all we have to do is we have to do n choose, n choose k, 7 choose 5. 
so that's our answer. This is our answer. Seven choose five, or it can, this is also equivalent to seven choose two, which is uh, our two came from seven minus five because that is also a way that the theorem can be expressed, and this is equal to twenty one. So that's your answer. That's your answer. And that's really the most simplest uh, way I can describe the binomial theorem. And in the next video, we'll talk more about, uh, or we'll do a couple more examples to really make sure that you get it. Other than that, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.